Hey friend, thanks for joining me. In today's tutorial, we're going to discuss how to locate your samples and recordings if they go missing. It's not a super technical topic, but it's never fun when it happens, and hopefully this will save you some time and help reduce your chances of losing parts of your song or an entire song forever. Ableton Live makes it easy to locate missing files with their file manager, where you can search for the offending files that are playing hide-and-go-seek on you. Additionally, Live will offer suggestions if there are multiple files missing. Hey, this can happen for a number of reasons. If you move or rename a folder where your songs or samples are, Live won't recognize the change in the file path and wants to know what happened. With a bit of admin and a couple of clicks later, and you should be back on track in no time. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever had a nightmare situation and you've either temporarily lost parts or all of a song. I can tell you this has happened to me. I've learned the hard way not to change the file structure and the path of samples and song files. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please head to my website, Electronic Music Tips, using the link below for my free six-step guide on how I create a song from start to finish that's full of pro tips and even includes bonus chapters on mixing and mastering. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel. We've all had this moment. You've loaded up a track that you're working on and some of the files are missing. Gone. Vanished into binary thin air. You curse the computer music gods and then fear sets in. Where are my missing files and how the hell do I get them back? Fortunately, if you're working with Ableton Live, they've got your back and make it easy to locate the missing files. If you're stuck with the nerve-wracking situation of having a corrupt hard disk, I highly suggest an app called Disk Drill. It performs a deep scan of your hard drive and it'll locate and restore your files. When this happened to me last year, I thought I lost a terabyte of music, artwork, and video. After panicking and looking at a few different solutions, I gave Disk Drill a try and was amazed at how well it worked. It recovered everything the first time I ran the software and can't suggest their app enough. It works just like they say it does. There's a link in the description below if you want more information. So here's how I found the missing files from my project. It only takes a second and Ableton really does all the work for you. Um, down at the bottom, there's a red status message. If you double click on that, that's a shortcut to opening up the missing media files window. At the top of that window, hit uh, automatic search and it's going to search inside the folder that you've pre-selected. This should be where your files are or where your project is. It's gonna do a complete scan of that folder and come up with a number of candidates that will then either auto-populate into your project or you'll have to manually select some of the files if there's a candidate with a similar name. Once the scan's complete, you can then double check that any of the files that were auto-populated are the correct ones. So to find the missing file, click on the magnifying glass. It's going to bring up the missing file in your library. Preview it and then double click it to put it back into your project. And you can see that it's gone back into your project because the location description changes to external. Hit save down at the bottom and that'll commit all of your changes back into your project. Oh, and one last thing, don't forget to collect all and save once you've made all these changes and that will gather all of the files that were missing and put them inside your project folder. That way, if you're opening the project up years from now, everything will be in place. I hope you enjoyed today's post and found it super helpful. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know if you've ever lost files in your project or the whole thing. And be sure to head to my website using the link below to get my free six-step guide. Bye for now, friend.